Hello everyone, thank you for joining TK On Demand. Today we are gonna be speaking with Yoshi Chipwood. He is the man on the East Coast who just makes big things happen. Whether you need a luxury closet, you name it, he can get it for you. So we're gonna wait for him to join us in just a few seconds. Hey you guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm sure you're all your lunch break right now. Alrighty, our guest is here. So we have a few questions for him. And if anyone in the audience has some questions, feel free to drop it in the comment box below. We are so excited for this interview today. All right, let's add him. All right, Yoshi, feel free to send me a request to join us and we'll get this interview going. All righty, hello, hello. Thank you guys for joining. I feel like this is the perfect hour as people are at lunch eating their sandwiches or their Chick-fil-A, whatever you have for lunch today. This is a perfect time to just escape work and enjoy an interview with us. So feel free to join in whenever you're ready, Yoshi. All right, how was everyone's week so far? It's Tuesday, but it feels like Monday. Yeah, it's, oh, hello, hello. Wow, this must be the prime time for everyone, honestly. Usually when I do it around five or six, you know, people are like tired, but lunchtime, everyone's ready to go. Oh, okay, there he is. All right, let's go. All righty, thank you guys for showing some love. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> First of all, you're in the perfect background. I love your background already. I'm sure you probably did that yourself. <laughs> So my, uh, my curators actually let me show this, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <Right>. thank you. <laughs> so can you tell us, how'd you get started in this industry? I've seen some of your work on Instagram, your website, right. just your different platforms, and it's pretty impressive. I know my apartment closet would love some of that work right there. <laughs> how to make it happen, but, uh, I've actually been doing woodworking since the, since a young age, around like maybe five years old. Um, mm -hmm. oh, wow. I, yeah. My dad, he was actually in the industry, and um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps, you know? Yeah. Like, I always just kind of had this passion for creating things. So, I don't know, but just by putting the two and two together, you know, uh, I don't know, this passion kind of became my purpose in life. And yeah. here so I'm sure your dad is so proud of you seeing like how far you've come from like the beginning, a five-year-old boy who got into woodworking to where you are now and all the major things you're doing. Right. So that's so impressive. And I'm, again, I'm sure he's proud. Um, do you have any brothers or siblings who are also joining in that industry or is it just you? Uh, no, just me right now. Just me. <laughs> just you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so can you tell us about any big projects you have coming up so far or some crazy, amazing work that you've done previously? Well, um, as far as big projects, my clauses are always big projects coming up. Um, yeah. you know, there's approaching, so I definitely have some projects in the making as far as closets and, you know, mm -hmm. man caves. I mean, oh, I yeah. big major projects coming, so um, you just have to stay tuned. Oh, okay. So how can the people stay tuned and see these projects? Like, Definitely. I mean, they can follow me, honestly, on here on IG, you know, of course. Yoshi Chipwood, you know, I stay with Post and, uh, you know, just got to keep me, you know, engaged and we'll get there, you know? <laughs> Love that. So again, I know you're really big on the East Coast and you work with a lot of high profile clients. Which client's um, job would you say was the most um, challenging or just kind of like put you outside of your box? Like, wow, I'm excited to take on this um, right. project right here. Well, uh, I would actually have to say, you know, Tip T.I. Harris, <laughs> actually. Oh, okay. He, uh, he was a bit of a challenge for me, you know. When it comes to T.I., you know, he is, you know, all about his business, you know. So, and it wasn't more of the, the job itself. It was just not wanting to mess up in front of him. Of course. That pressure. <laughs> you know, I really don't have honestly any challenges this particular moment in my life yeah, good. um they were in my earlier stages so uh, if a challenge do want to approach me or whatever i try to tackle it before you can get to me so yeah. i mean I, I build i learn i grow so yeah and you just make it work love that right and then being a black male in this industry do you feel like there comes challenges sometimes when it comes to you know 
being that male figure in the Black community, trying to, you know, sometimes it gets tough in the industry being in a minority. Do you feel like that sometimes takes, you know, I guess a toll or like a heavy weight sometimes to carry in the industry? It does, honestly. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we have to get through these challenges, you know, yeah. just, uh, you fail, you get back up and you yep. coach and you just keep growing again, you know, um, try to tackle your challenges in the early stages. If you're going to be doing or pursuing a goal, just try your best to get through the challenges, make it fun. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, it becomes, you know, your playground. So yeah. Yeah, I love that. A quote that I live by is, the time you fail is the time you stop trying. So you just got to keep on going for it and go and reaching those goals because you got to do yourself that justice to fight for what you want. Mm -hmm. So true. <laughs> do you have any advice for those young entrepreneurs out there who maybe want to get in this industry and don't know how to get involved or learn, you know, what's the best steps or right. anything about it? Getting in this particular industry, you definitely want to do your research. Um, again, for me, it's fun. Um, but if you're one that just don't, doesn't have experience, uh, do your research. It, it again, at uh, definitely don't give up. You know, if this mm -hmm. do never give up. Again, if you fail, you get back up. You try a different approach, and um, you will grow from there. So. Yeah, that's it. Never, just never give up. That's any dream. I mean, it doesn't have to be this mm -hmm. any, you know, dream that you have. So, yeah. Yeah, that is so true. And then can you tell us what other services you provide? I know you mentioned you did that, like, a closet, that beautiful closet behind you. Mm -hmm. What are some other things that you create? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm sure the list is very lengthy. The list, <laughs> if it involves wood, you know, I can do it. I do a lot of, of course, closets and she sheds and man caves. Um, I do things like bars, uh, oh. secret rooms, actually. Um, when secret rooms, is that like those hidden rooms with like that cool, like those kind of speakeasy, would you say? It is. And if you follow my page, you will see lots of them. Any of the followers is watching Ooh. right now, a lot. Go so, ahead and do that. Definitely. Um, again, if it involves wood, I can do it. I love doing it. Passion. I love creating things and just turn it into something. Taking going to an empty room and mm -hmm. creating, as you see here, this was empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then where do you see yourself in the next 10 years with your career right now, with your business? Like what do you see for yourself in 10 years? Ah, I see myself up there. Um, yes, we like to see that. I gotta think big. Speak into existence. I, exactly. I see myself um I, I I love what I do. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, but I do see myself not doing, I guess, the more of the heavier labor portion of it or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to train, um, you know, young entrepreneurs that want to do this or want to get into this industry. So I do yes. as a teacher um, in this industry. So I will say that. Got it. And do you have any upcoming like TV appearances coming up or anything or anything? Have you been on TV before? Is that something you're interested in too? Maybe having your own show showing people what you do. That is true. That is true. Well, I actually will be appearing on a few episodes of My Celebrity Dream Wedding. Oh. Uh, H1. Um, I actually have my first appearance coming up January the 31st. So. Okay. Let us know. We'll put that in. We'll let the people know to tune in to see your work for those people who are looking for a wedding venue or just anything. <laughs> um, I have a few other appearances coming up. Uh, my uh, Love and Hip Hop coming up. Oh. Uh, so yeah, you just have to. <laughs> like, I can't give it all to you. I got to give it a little dosage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for sharing your journey hey. with us, your experience. We're looking yeah. forward to seeing you on the TV, being yeah. bigger and better within the next, yeah. maybe, let's say five years. I'm sure by five years, you'll reach your 10 year mark, or maybe even less than that. You'll reach it by two years. I'll take it to exist. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to share with our audience or just let, again, people out there in your industry, what to expect from you? What's something they should automatically think of when they think of Yoshi? Definitely. When you're thinking of Yoshi, think of unique, think of creativity, mm. think of just out of the box, because I'm always coming up with out of the box type stuff. Um, okay. When it comes to woodworking and 
doing the secret, not just rooms, but secret whatever, you know, that's that's me, you know, look at me as that. Um, so yeah, definitely look out for the many more projects that I have coming up. And um, yeah, soon follow me on IG, you know, at Yoshi Chitwood, of course, my website. Uh, KB Custom Woodworks LLC dot com. So uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. You know he just plugged us all into his social media platform, his website. So if you're not doing anything, you're gonna go ahead and follow him right now. That's what we're gonna do and go on that website. <laughs> yes. Let's make some stuff happen. Yes, please. When I whenever I get to my house, I'll be calling like, hey, so you know that closet that's on your page? Let's get yeah. that in the makes. Honestly, I, I know a few people who need some closet work done. So I might <laughs> send your page on over to them. <laughs> you hook me up and I'm gonna hook you up. I got you. No worries. <laughs> okay, thank you again so, so, so much. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Definitely. I wish you the best with your future. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in with us today and hearing from Yoshi Chipwood. He is a wood master, so make sure to check him out on his page and see what he's all about. It was such a pleasure, such an honor to talk to him from seeing all his amazing work. You guys can check it out. Well, all right, you guys, have a great Tuesday, and I hope you enjoyed your lunch with TK. Maybe I'll have a little snack with y'all next time, maybe. All right, have a good night. Well, have a good day. You guys know what I mean. <laughs>